certain restrictions being lifted as kids head back to school, there are still some guidelines that schools will be asked to follow. KRCR's Cassandra Gutierrez is joining us live from the Shasta County Office of Education with more. Good evening, Cassandra. Well, Tamara, schools have been working to find the safest, most normal way to get back to the classroom, and things will get much different than they were last year. For example, masks will no longer be required outdoors, but they will be required in the classroom. And as of now, classroom spacing can go back to normal. In other words, social distance guidelines won't be as strict. Students can also participate in extracurricular after school activities, including sports and clubs. Temperature checks will no longer be be required. Quarantine time will now be eight days instead of 10. And if a student is exposed to the virus and tests negative, they can come back to school after the eighth day or later, meaning students and staff won't have to miss as much school as before. Uh, and that is so different from what we saw across the rest of the state. Uh, you know, many areas of California didn't open for students at all until April or May. Uh, and so we just feel really fortunate that our kids were able to be in school as much as they were last year. We know that there, there has to be less learning loss as a result uh, than what we're seeing and hearing about in other parts of the state. Uh, but we are excited to welcome a new group of students into, a new, into this new school year. School is set to begin this month, the week of August 16th. Most schools will be back to in-person learning five days a week with the option of online studies. Superintendent Flores also mentioned 17% of students ages 12 and up across their 75 public and charter schools in Shasta County have been vaccinated. For now, reporting live from Shasta County Office of Education in Reading, I'm Cassandra Gutierrez, KRCR News Channel 7, the North States News.